Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're doing something that's partially MIDI and partially SWS, so it's the best of both worlds. And that is the Padre LFO Generator, which is a really powerful SWS tool. So go to Extensions, if you have SWS installed, come here to LFO Generator, and you'll get this window. And here we can create LFO or randomized envelopes for takes, track envelopes, also works on MIDI CC. Now for track envelopes, there is already a native Reaper system in place, which we have talked about before and that's an automation item. So I can create an automation item anywhere. I can then double click on this. And this is cool because as you play with it, it actually moves it around. For track envelopes, most of the time, the native way works more than fine and you can get the results that you need. But there are some other things we can do with the Padre Envelope Generator. So the first nice thing about Padre Envelope Generator is that it works on items and takes. For example, I got this drone sound here. Let's listen to just a few seconds of it. I want this to kind of randomly kind of pan around and I don't want to use the pan envelope because later I may want to pan the whole thing somewhere. I may want to reduce the width. So I want to preserve these points. So I set the target to select the takes, selected item as my segment. Maybe let's make it kind of short quarter note and you can set a delay sync so it doesn't need to start right on the item. It can start a little bit later and then there's an offset and a strength. So with offset zero and strength, it is now being panned left and right constant rate. And as we mentioned before, because pan is volume adjustment, you're actually kind of getting like an auto pan tremolo-ish kind of effect. Now I can make this shorter as well. Let's make it a half note and you gotta select the item again and generate the envelope. Or I can even make it, you know, once every measure. And now it's more of a pan effect. Let's move on to CC. So I have this choir line here. This patch that I'm using from East West, it actually allows you to control the intensity of the choir with your mod wheel. So I'm again gonna hit my hotkey, which for me is command control option and L, and I go to selected takes MIDI. I use selected items. This item is already selected down here, obviously. Yeah, let's keep it signed. So I want every two measures for the mod wheel to kind of go up and go down. So they're kind of doing like a crescendo. Like that. Let's maybe offset this by 20. So our lowest point is now 20. And then let's make the strength be 80. So it's going from 20% to all the way up. MIDI CC1, that's your mod wheel. Any other CC lane also works with this. And I hit it and it generates this LFO. Now my item is longer than my passage. So this may not be something that you want, but because I use two measures and it's exactly two measures, this works for me. And now my choir sounds like this. you know, it becomes a lot more expressive. And you know, obviously we can also draw this. Drawing it will sound more human, but if you're doing this to multiple CC envelopes, or if you are after that cyclical sound, then there you go. Obviously we can go kind of nuts with this as well. So let's make this kind of crazy, something like this. So the strength is a hundred and the offset is zero. And now it's a total effect, right? It's out of the realm of being like a human thing. So you can use this as a MIDI effect as well. So assign the CC to the cutoff of a bass and then go nuts with it. Finally, there is one thing I found it easier to do with the LFO generator from Padre rather than automation items, is if you want to create a lot of random envelopes for something. So I have this white noise trigger warning. This is white noise. And I want to turn this into some kind of like a synthetic wind. So put a EQ on it and put a lot of like random cuts and boosts and then randomize the frequency of these. And that kind of starts sounding like a wind. Let's listen to it. Kind of sounds like a mixture of wind and maybe ocean waves and stuff like that. So this would be a lot more grueling to do with an automation item because automation item, they don't have a random generator to begin with. And also I gotta make it one by one, but with the Padre envelope generator, I can simply come here and do select a track envelope. And I can't do this on the take because in the takes, you can only adjust these four parameters for track envelopes. You can adjust whatever track envelope you select. So I can come here, I search for frequency here, take all of them visible. And now I can just set a time selection. So I go select a track envelope, 
envelope, time selection. There is random and random Bezier. The random does stepwise, the value jumps. Whereas if I go random Bezier, they're curved. So it's more natural and smooth that way. And obviously this is not good. I want to just make it kind of more subtle than that. Let's only make the strength 20%. And actually I want to offset this maybe by 40. Then I just select the next envelope, change a few parameters. I'm off to the races. So when you're doing something like this, it's a lot easier to use the Padre LFO generator. And now I've generated wind out of white noise. So anytime you want to randomize a lot of parameters, it's really cool for like kind of background tracks to add some randomization to them. I think it really brings them to life. Padre LFO generator is your tool. And Roberto es tu padre's hermano. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. We took a vote recently for what features y'all want me to do next. For a while, MIDI and SWS were neck to neck and MIDI pushed through and became the most popular. Now that said, I would do all the tutorial types that I mentioned and anything else you want me to do, but I'll try to do a lot more MIDI. I'm also doing a 1111 subscriber special very soon. I thought to do a little bit of a Q&A. So if you have any questions for me that are not necessarily Reaper related, they could be related to whatever, post them in the comments below. I'll also make a community post and we'll talk a little bit. We'll have a little chat. And if you like the work I do, as always, please consider donating to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link is up there and will be in the description as well. A big thanks to Padre and the entire SWS developer community also make sure to donate to them. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.